Hello and welcome to the Michael Dillon Show. I'm your host, Michael Dillon, and I'm here today to talk about a couple things that I love to talk about, movies and TV. Now, if you have a topic that you'd like for me to discuss on my next show, then you can email me at themichaeldillonshow at gmail.com. Also, if you like what you're seeing here today, then hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell to see more of my videos. Now, that's out of the way. The first thing I want to talk about with you today is the new Hobbs and Shaw 2 trailer. I mean, Red Notice trailer. Uh, my first thoughts on this trailer really was that it would look just like a Fast and the Furious or a Hobbs and Shaw movie. Uh, once I got past that, though, it looked pretty fun. Um, I really love watching Ryan Reynolds and The Rock and just about anything they do. Don't always love the movie, but I do love watching them. Uh, as far as, as far as Gal Gadot is concerned, uh, it really depends on if the director can focus on her strengths and not her weaknesses like uh, Patty Jenkins did in Wonder Woman. She did a really good job. Uh, Red Notice is set to release on Netflix. Uh, it is a Netflix movie on November 12th. Um, it does look fun, funny, action-packed, so I'll probably definitely watch it. Um, let me know, mainly because of the cast. Uh, let me know if you plan on watching it uh, and what you thought about the trailer. The second thing I want to talk to you guys about today is the return of the Borg Queen. Annie Wershing will be assimilated to the cast of Season 2 of Picard on Paramount Plus as the Borg Queen. Season 2 is also set for the return of John DeLancey as Q. I'm hoping the addition of these two characters will improve the quality of Season 2 over Season 1, um, which won't be very hard to do, uh, in my eyes anyway. Season 1 gave me very mixed feelings. Uh, I love the next generation growing up. Uh, and I was hoping for the same out of Picard Season 1, but I was really disappointed. Uh, the episodes were very hit and miss with me. Uh, if I wasn't such a huge fan of The Next Generation and its characters, then I wouldn't even bother with Season 2. Um, as of now, there is no set release date for uh, Picard Season 2 on Paramount+, Plus, uh, but I will let you know as soon as I find something out. Comment below and let me know what you think about Picard on Paramount Plus and the addition of Q and the Borg Queen on Season 2 and if you plan on watching it. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about today is Aquaman 2. Deadline has reported on Sunday Aquaman star Jason Momoa shared images of himself as Arthur Curry, a.k.a. Aquaman. The first image shows Momoa in the traditional orange and green costume. Uh, the second image shows him in a much darker costume. Um, second round, new suit, more action, he wrote. I'm finally in England, Momoa's video says. It's sunny out. It's amazing. I'm going to start filming Aquaman 2 tomorrow. This is like, this is the last day of the brown. I'm going to be blonde. Supposedly they have more fun. I don't know about that. We'll test it out. But I'm excited to see James and my whole cast. So there you have it. Aquaman 2 starts filming, uh, starts filming today and it's going to be blonde <laughs> uh, just like the comic book I guess he's also going to have a black suit I guess he likes Zack Snyder's uh, Superman costume so much that he had to get one for himself the deadline also goes on the deadline article also goes on to say that according to James 1 Aquaman 2 is heavily inspired by Planet of the Vampires I don't know about that uh, I've never heard of it I guess I'm in the uh, probably in the minority on that. Uh, one said the changes come partially because they were not familiar with the comic book, which still was very lurid, strange world. People were thrown back that I didn't throw all that stuff away and make a dark, heavy film. But I didn't feel that would have been right for it. So with the second film, I feel it would be easier for people to accept where we go because I already laid the foundation. So apparently... So apparently this is going to be a darker Aquaman. Uh, I'm okay with that because I feel like that's what James Wan does best um, with his horror movies. So if he can bring that aspect over to Aquaman 2, I'll probably enjoy it too. Uh, I love the first Aquaman movie. Uh, it's definitely in my top 10 comic book movies. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what James Wan and uh, Jason Momoa brings to the second one. Uh, and what new worlds they new way they imagine the world uh, comment below if you like the new costume even if you don't like it let me know what you think about it uh, let me know if you're looking forward to Aquaman 2 
Uh, so that's all I've got for you today. As always, if you like what you heard and saw today, hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell if you want to see more of my videos. I hope you have a great day. See you later.